In this video, I am going to show you how to create PCB footprints. Today, I am going to create one SMD footprint and one through hole footprint for this operational amplifier. If you scroll down through this data sheet, you will find the necessary measurements for the footprints. This is the SOIC package and this is their recommended footprint. Here we can see that the pad width is 1.55 millimeter. The dimension is here. And the height of the pad is 0.6 millimeter. We will need some other information from this figure to create our footprint. First of all, we have to create the pad. To create the pad, open pad designer. As the unit in the data sheet is in millimeters, I'm going to select millimeter here. As we are working on SMD component, the drill diameter must be zero here. Go to layers tab, select single layer mode. As we are working on SMD component, select begin layer, select the pad geometry that is rectangular for our case. Type the width here, 1.55 millimeter. We can see that here. Type the package height that is 0.6 millimeter. Select solder mask top, select the geometry, this should be same as the pad geometry. Make the dimension of solder mask 0.1 millimeter greater than the pad, so it will be 1.65 in width and 0.7 millimeter in height. Now go to file, select save as. Select the folder where you want to save your path. It's better to create uh, a specific folder for your custom footprints. I have already created a folder. I am going to select that folder. Give a name. Okay, you can close this now. Now to create the footprint, open PCV editor. We have to add the location of the pad in this PCV editor directory. To do that, go to setup, user preferences. Select Expand Paths, select Library, here click on Path Path, here we have to add the path of the path, select New, browse the location of your path folder, this is here my library, select OK. Click OK here. Do same for PSM path. Okay. Click OK. Now go to File, New, select Package Symbol Wizard, select the folder where you want to save your PC footprint. I am selecting my folder where I have saved my pet file. Click Open. Write the name of the footprint. I'm writing SYC8. You can write any name here, but it's better to give meaningful names. Select OK. You can see the available type of footprints here. You can select 
any of this but in our case we need to select SYC select SYC here and click next click load template click next change the unit to millimeters click next enter number of pins there is 8 for our case we have to fill up we have to fill in this information to do that let's bring in the data sheet okay here you have to here you have to enter the lead piece that is the distance between two pins here you can find the value the distance between two pins is 1.27 millimeter this is terminal row spacing that is the distance between the midpoints of the opposite rows you can find it from here it says 5.4 millimeters package width E is the width of the package you can find it from here it says 2.95 millimeter change it to 2.95 millimeters package length is the length of the package from the data sheet we can see that the package length is 4.9 millimeter enter 4.9 millimeters here and click next make sure to enter all the values correctly in this window click next here you have to select the path that you have created the name of the pad was pad 1 that is it click OK click next you don't need to change anything here click next and select finish you can see that our footprint has been created now save the footprint so in this command window you will see that it has created two files one is dot dra and another is dot psm you will need both of these files to use in your pcb layout now i am going to create the through hole footprint for this component if you scroll down you will find the measurements for through hole package this is the PDIP package here they say all linear dimensions are in inches and in millimeters in brackets so this figure 0 0.070 is in inches and this is in millimeters let's use inches for this footprint you can use millimeters as well I just want to show you in both units so that you understand it properly first of all we have to create the path so open path designer again now we are creating a through hole component so we have to select a drill hole so you can select drill hole type in most cases the drill hole will be circular select circle drill and we want to be our drill hole plated select plated here and you have to enter the drill diameter here you can find the drill diameter that says this is the diameter of the pin so a drill diameter should be larger than this value it is 0 0.021 inches 
that is 21 mil. I'm going to use 30 mils for my drill diameter so that the these pins fits very well. Select mils here as we are working on mils. 30 mils. Okay. You have to select a symbol for your drill. It doesn't matter what you select. I'm going to select circle. We have to give value. Usually I give the same value as my drill diameter. Okay. Go to layers. Now deselect this single layer mode checkbox. Select begin layer. Select the geometry. I'm going to select circle. You have to enter the path diameter here. Our drill diameter is 30 mils. The diameter of the pad must be 14 mils greater than the drill hole to be manufactured from 4 PCB. I'm going to make it larger than that. I'm going to keep it 60 mils. 60. Okay. Select default internal. I'm going to select the same values. 60. Go to end layer. I'm going to select same. 60 mils. Here you can see how it looks in X section view. And this is how it looks from the top. You have to define solder mask top. This is same. This is similar as SMD package. Make it 5 mils larger than the pad. I'm going to define 65 mils. 65 mils. Select solder mask bottom. Select circle here. Going to enter 65 mils. Okay. Now we have entered all the parameters here. Go to files, save as, give a name, pad2, select the folder where you want to save your file. I want to save it here. Save. The pad has been created. Now you can close this pad designer window. Now again go to your PCB editor. Go to File, select New, select Package Symbol Wizard again, give a name, before that browse the folder, that's it, give the name, give a name, I'm going to name it as DIP8, as I said, you should use meaningful names. Select OK. Now, previously we selected SYC here, but now as we are working on DIP package, I'm going to select this one. Select Next. Load Template. Select Next. As right now we are using mils, you don't need to change this to millimeters. If it is millimeters by default, change it to mils. Select next. Number of pins is 8. Lead piece is the distance between two pins. We can find the distance from here. The distance is 0.1 inch, that is 100 mils. Terminal row spacing is E1, that is the distance between the opposite rows. We can find that value from here as well. Here you can see the distance between the two opposite rows is 0.3 in to 0.325 in. I'm going to select 0.35 in because it can be maximum 0.430 in and minimum is 0.300 in. I'm going to select somewhere in between. 
let's select 0.35 ins here that is 350 mils package width is the width of the package that is this value and we can find that from here the minimum package width is 0 0.240 and maximum is 0 0.260 I'm going to select the average that is 0.25 ins that will be 250 mils and package length you can find the value of package length here minimum is 0.355 maximum is 0 0.400 I'm going to select 0 0.400 ins that is 400 mils click next select the pad that you have just created in my case that is pad 2 click next you don't need to change anything here click next and click finish this is our through hole footprint click save it has created the drawing file and the PSM file now let's check if we can place the footprint in our layout create a new test file select here board click OK now go to place manually select advanced settings and select library go back to placement list here select package symbols we have created two footprints one is DIP8 and another is SYC8 let's see if we can find those footprints here this is it we have created this footprint and let's try to find out SOIC8 as well This is the footprint we have created. So we have created two types of footprints. One is through hole and another is SMD. Thank you for watching this video.